Ask, no, does how... a bigger penis mean better performance? Oh, absolutely not. That's <laughs> like saying the tallest man in the room is the best basketball player. No. Right, so, so can penal length be increased? That's the next question. I mean, really, that's the crux of this whole video. Yes, it can be. Is it a price you're willing to pay? One of the physical factors that has been the subject of much discussion and speculation is penile length, right? Are there ways to increase your penile length if you have a short member? Men and women alike have been curious about whether or not penile length matters when it comes to sexual satisfaction. In this video, we'll explore the relationship between penile length and sexual satisfaction from, of course, a woman's perspective. We'll delve into various factors that can influence sexual pleasure and give you scientifically proven ways to increase penile length. I'll be right back. Welcome back, my name is Jessica and this is my YouTube channel. And today we have our favorite advanced practice nurse practitioner, Lily Harmon on the show. Lily, good to see you, how are you Hi. doing? Hi, great to be here. I'm doing great, thank you for asking. Awesome. How are you? Awesome. I'm all right, can't complain, you know? You can. I can? You can, nobody's gonna listen. <laughs> so what's the point? So what's silly. the point? So tell me, I mean, what's this obsession with penal length? How did we get here? Whose fault is it? Why are men looking for big members? Bigger's better, according to them. Not necessarily. That is true. You and I know that to be the truth because, you know, size isn't everything. And I know that this debate has been going on since the day penises were made, that size matters and, you know. Does it, though? Does it? I'm not sure, to be honest. You know, because I mean, women have talked about how um, certain after a certain length and or girth, it becomes really uncomfortable and even painful. It is. You guys with the giant equipment, just stop it. Um, is size everything? It depends on the woman. There are those who have psyched themselves into thinking, unless it's a certain size, I won't be fulfilled. Think about it this way. So people don't realize that when we talk about the vagina, we're not talking about the lips and the stuff that you can see when a woman is standing in mm -hmm. front of you. What you're seeing is the mons pubis and the labia, the labia majora for most minora. of us. The labia minora, which is on the inside, some are visible from the outside, some are not. Okay. That's the outside. The inside, which is the actual vaginal canal, the area where the penis enters, is what I'm talking about. So in a woman who is not aroused and ready for sex, um, it is usually shorter. It's mm. about two inches, two and a half, four inches. Um, this was from a study of 100 women done by uh, Masters and Johnson um, years ago. But... This is a woman who's not aroused. Now, that area of a woman is actually pretty elastic because think about it. Baby Babies come out of that area. So it, it's pretty elastic. It's pretty mobile. It, it gives. It moves around um, in certain times. Right. Now, a woman who is not aroused, not ready for sex, not having a baby, etc., cetera, um, it tends to be the give is less. Okay. Okay. So if, if you have a giant member and you're planning to put it inside this not ready um, vaginal canal, it can be uncomfortable. Right. It can be painful. It, it, it's almost abuse, really. Well, would you say that the adult film industry maybe has also contributed to this? Oh, absolutely. Mm. Dear <laughs> Lord. Yes, they have. Um, they have not done us any favors in getting us to think that we should look a certain way or behave a certain way during the act. The, the, the adult film industry has really messed with reality, as it were. Right. Um, do you know what the average length of a penis is? So the average length of an average man's penis, regardless of race, okay. is about five inches, 5.1 inches. Um, it ranges anywhere from, it can be between let's say between three and five inches okay um is is normal right um are there people that 
end up on one end of the other of the spectrum. Yes, mm -hmm. because we are human. Right. Um, and that stuff happens. Um, having said that, the average of the inside of the woman's, um, the vaginal canal can go up to about 4.75 um, inches, let's say five for a max. So if you think about it, it's, it's commensurate to the average male penis. Right. And that also means that you don't have to put everything inside. That's a conversation <laughs> for another day. But, you know, I mean, let's, let's, let's think about it, though. Does the bigger a man's penis correspond with the more pleasure he feels? Has, has it got anything to do with anything? From having spoken to people, I was going to say from my experience, but then that would be like... <laughs> that would no, be awkward. No. Hey, you don't have a from, penis, do you? No, I okay, do not. Okay, just checking. I, man, I would... I've spoken with a lot of women in, in what I do, and there are women who feel like when, when they're filled up to bursting on the inside, it feels good. Okay. It's, it's the perception, really. If that's what feels good to you, great. So it's subjective. Um, it's, it's very subjective. Mm. It's very subjective. I mean, it, yes, you have a giant penis, but what can you do with it? Thank you. I was about do to you ask, know does how... a bigger penis mean better performance? Oh, absolutely not. That's <laughs> like saying the tallest man in the room is the best basketball player. No. I feel you on that. No. Mm. Um, no. Mm. But what is the general, and I, and I think I really want us to talk about this because it, it's, it's a subject of debate a lot. You know, are big penises a big deal when it comes to women and the way we see it? Because, you know, guys will say, oh, well, you, you guys are women. Why are you talking about something like this? You wouldn't understand kind of thing. So let's flip it a little bit here. When it comes to women, do we really care um, what the size is um, when it comes to intimacy? If we're being really honest with ourselves, depending on what we want in whatever relationship we're in. So if, if you're in a kind of, um, if you're in a long-term relationship, if you're in, some, in a commitment with someone, that's not your biggest, you know, it, it, is the sex good? Yeah. Is it good because of the size of his member? It, if you're being honest, it's a no. Hmm. Because when it comes to intimacy with women, it's a mind and body thing. We're not just this piece of meat on a bed. We come with a lot of emotions. So penetrative sex doesn't even have to happen for us to achieve some amount of satisfaction. So does size matter? I suppose it depends on the woman. But honestly... No. Yeah, I, I have to agree with you on that, you know, because you could, if you have a big member and you don't even have, know how to use it, you're just going to be an inconvenience. You're going to be a pain in the... Yes. Yes. <laughs> an inconvenience, like I said. So, um, you know, and this is an argument because I've done a video right here on this channel talking about um, things that men are insecure about. And one of them obviously was like the size of their, their penises and... And, and the whole conversation about whether size matters came up. And, and I remember, like, in the comments, like, the guys were like, oh, size does matter. You know, I mean, I had a few girls say that. But does it really, you know? And, and I love the fact that you mentioned the whole, whether it's for a long-term relationship or short, you know? In the long term, I don't think there are lots of women, and I stand to be corrected, I don't think there are lots of women who actually go for men with humongous penises. Because, like I said, it can be very uncomfortable and very painful as well and men need to take note of that so it's not about the size of what you have it's how you use it essentially yes um if it's not a um what's the name of that if it's not just a netflix and chill kind of relationship right a lot of women will avoid that Living in that. the long term exactly. because we don't always feel like it and on days you don't feel like it who wants that kind of assault on their body really so yeah if you're hitting it and quitting so one off, know. you probably wouldn't see them again. For, for experience yeah. purposes or whatever, and I'm not condoning, um, you know, random sex. If you're going to have random sex, use a condom, please. <laughs> um, but if you're going to be in a long-term relationship, there's more, way more factors that are at play, including, you know, who he is, what he is, what he means to you, how he makes you feel all over, not just right there. Yes, that matters, because if it's something you're going to live with for the rest of your life, then you want to make sure, you know, yeah, it feels good and you're OK with it. Right. Um, but is it does it have to be huge? No. You want a man who knows what he's doing. 
with what he has, regardless of the size of it. You want to know that he knows what he's doing with what he has. And, you know, there's, there's multiple things you can do to get pleasure. Right. All right, so, so can penal length be increased? That's the next question. I mean, really, that's the crux of this whole video. Yes, it can be. Is it a price you're willing to pay? Why? How? I mean, how difficult is it? Um, and by price, I don't just mean monetary, um, but there are three that come to mind that have been spoken about. Um, one of them is the vacuum um, system that is, it's on sale out there. Um, but does the vacuum system, does it work? It's subjective at best, um, this vacuum system. And you can go and look it up. Um, it's basically like a, a pump type thing that you apply to your genitals and you pump it and it's supposed to create that elongation. Mm. Um, is, does it sustain itself? No. Interesting. There's so what, as soon that. as the, the vacuum comes off, it goes back to normal? Pretty much. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So the second is a surgical move, which essentially all it actually does is cut. There's a ligament and you can go and look this up because I'm not a urologist, but this is in the literature um, where they cut a specific ligament that then causes your penis to hang a little lower. Um, giving the appearance of length. Does that work for everyone? The jury's still out. There are some that swear by it, some that don't. But if you should do something that surgical where they cut something like that, um, it may not be reversible. So think about that um, before you do it. And then the final one, which um, the science does support some, has a, um, it's a contraption that you can be prescribed by your urologist or specialist that you apply to your penis multiple, you know, it's like for several hours a day over a period of several months, <sighs> which places, <laughs> it applies gentle traction, gentle traction to the penis over that period of time. And it, it, it's literally just stretching the member out. Um, is it comfortable? I will never know. Does it work? It's been proven to add about two centimeters okay. um, to the length All of the penis. All that hassle for just not even inches, not even two inches, no. centimeters? That an sounds like a lot. Two, <laughs> two, an inch is two and a half centimeters, so mm. it's just barely an inch. Um, but those who have done it, for some it was worth it. For some it was like, why did you even bother to go through all of that? The cost, the pain of the stretching, the, the consistency months. of you yeah. have to be consistent with it. You have to be consistent with it for just two it. centimeters. <laughs> for some, for some, it makes that difference. For oh, some, it doesn't. I guess. Um, but a lot of it is very, very psychological. So usually, when everything else fails talk to your psychologist. Mm, very important. Very, very important. Okay. So, I mean, I don't know if people are, you know, you guys are disappointed or actually excited about the fact that there are options out there, both surgical and non-surgical. I mean, go for whatever works for you. If you're really in that spot where you're feeling desperate, then that's definitely something that you can do. But, you know, we keep coming back to this whole conversation about size not really being the thing that you should focus on when it comes to sexual satisfaction. So maybe, um, Lily, we should talk about, you know, some of the factors that can influence maybe sexual pleasure or satisfaction. I think that would be a, maybe the next logical step to take in this conversation. Size is not everything. You're in a relationship. Your relationship is healthy. Um, you love each other, you care, you're working on it, you're going through the motions. Take the time to learn each other. It is everything. There are days you won't even have to go that far to achieve the ultimate pleasure from your intimate moments because intercourse is not everything. Hmm. Hmm. If intercourse is all you think that this is about, you have some growing up to do. Right. Yeah. I mean, emotional connection is really important as emotional well. Emotional connection right? is massive. Mm. If you are with your best friend, if you guys are in a good place, 
sex or intimacy then becomes, you know, one of those things. It happens without you even knowing it and it's fulfilling in and of itself on a massive scale. Health. Because if you're in, if you have poor health, you're not going to be able to perform. And that's another thing. Absolutely. Mm. You want to you want to improve that performance. Um, you know, if you have a gut, try to get rid of some of it or find a way to work around it. Because, you know, there's positions that will accommodate the gut where you can both um, end up, you know, in a happy place. So if you know, ladies, if the gut is your thing and guys, it's like, hey, I, I've tried my best. I can't work around it, which is, again, comes back to where you're in a healthy relationship. You're both working with it, working with what you have. Sexual it can skill. be done. Skills. Mm. <sighs> that has to be, see, that's, that's something else that's subjective, because mm. what if this man comes in with these skills and the woman is like, well, what, what is that? this? <laughs> what, what are you doing? Do, what did, don't touch me there. You know. Yeah. So back to learning your person, knowing what triggers them, knowing what sets them off, knowing what makes them happy. So just because your skills worked with the one, you know, specific woman or person or group of people doesn't mean it'll work with this person that you're with. Mm. So learn it. You can pick up these skills as you go along and she'll be like, oh, you know, touch, touch here, but not as hard. Not that hard. D stop it. <laughs> you can <laughs> have a safe Back board. it up. I was told to say pineapple. I've been told not to say pineapple. I don't know why. But yeah, it, mm. it takes, it takes work. You know, um, there's, there's no one fix for everything and there's no one size is what it is. It's one, what is the size of your lady's inside? Because if she's this big and you're this big, you're going to hurt her. If you're going to use this big to go into this big, you know, moderate it. Know how you're going to enter it. Work through it together. Mm -hmm. It always comes back to together. Yeah, I love it. Well said. Well said. Guys, we'll end it here. Lily, thank you so much for your time. It's been great as always. And uh, if you want more of this content, do me a favor, smash the like button, share it with another guy who would find it beneficial, and uh, let's keep this family growing. My name is Jessica. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers. With the... Ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh, no. Thank you for the sound effects. Sorry. <laughs> to see more outtakes, join this channel as a member or sign up to my Patreon.